All right, he's dancing and doing the DS. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Okay, now turn around. Let me see your face. Ha 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 ha. Honestly, I was so young, I don't remember like any of the bad stuff. Mm. What do you need? I want to. I know. I mean, I still have like some lingering mental things from it but I kind of like just push through it all. I want to like prove that I actually deserve to be there. Even throughout our hardships, you can still do it. So here I am following through with it. I'm going to Olympics. <laughs> I might go for raspberry. Yeah. Put a little bit of tamarind on top of raspberry. That sounds nasty. It is nasty. <laughs> we moved to Puerto Rico when I was six years old. It's a dream come true to represent us and be almost accepted as Puerto Rican. I was telling you, your father loved this dream. Yeah. He always talked about buying the brewery. <laughs> Antonio is the head of the Winter Sports Federation. We've been friends with him forever. When they brought up that they wanted to represent Puerto Rico, I just started laughing, just thinking about the Cool Runnings movie. Uh, Winter Olympics in, from Puerto Rico. No, no lo sabía. La última vez que me enteré de algo así fue el equipo de Jamaica. Y créeme que voy a regar la voz y vamos a apoyarlo 100%. Sometimes there's a lot of criticism, the fact that uh, we don't have snow in Puerto Rico. It's like 300 degrees Celsius. Because <laughs> it's bloody hot. <laughs> but actually, being Puerto Rican, in your case, the funny part of it, you've lived more years in Puerto Rico, actually, than in the States. Yeah, I don't really even remember the States, so. When people see that flag on those games, that's where people change a little bit their perspective. Yeah, I mean, I'm just glad to be able to represent us. And I don't know, I wouldn't want to represent anyone else. Balancing the whole island and skiing life. Yeah, it was tough at first. During the first few years, a lot of it was like pushed by my dad and older brother Charles and his ambition to go to the Olympics. It was in 2002 that the last winter athletes went and, and my dad had to rebuild all the infrastructure around that and uh, we created our own ski federation. It's his island and he wanted to represent his island in uh, alpine skiing. Seeing him walk into that stadium and carry the flag was so cool and I was so proud. I was just one of those overly proud, giddy parents. And I was like, that's my kid, that's my kid. Vamos Puerto Rico. Technique-wise, Charles is amazing. It's like almost satisfying to watch his ski. I'm William, his brother, and I'm super proud of him. That day, William wanted to be like his older brother. I'm also training to do this in four years. He was motivated to give it a try himself. That was so exciting. That was a great moment. It gives him something to focus on. He's been to hell and back twice, and he doesn't let it hold him back. Hi, William. Hi. Have a big smile. I had a big forehead. <laughs> you did have a big head. <laughs> Look at that head. When William was three and a half, I saw a little bit of yellow in the corner of his eyes, and I knew right away that that was bad news. Say hi. hi. It's Nurse Lacey. Hi, Will. It started with his liver, but also kind of looked like leukemia. And those two don't go together. They said, oh, I hope it's not cancer. And the doctor said, pray for cancer. And you're like, what does that mean? 
he was diagnosed with a disease called hemophagocytic lymphohistiocytosis. The immune system kind of goes around the body and starts killing organs. They gave me about a 10% chance of living. Can you wiggle? Yeah, hi, toes. Yeah. Your toe is glowing. Uh... Oh, so is your tongue. <laughs> We were just doing everything we could to make sure he survived. So in April of 2008, Charles was the donor and gave William his bone marrow. <laughs> Boy, knock, knock. Who's there? Noah. Noah who? Noah's Ark. <laughs> William is on day 100 post-transplant. Happy 100 to you. Happy 100 to you. My recovery you. from it um, was kind of long. I had a lot of like after effects from chemo and stuff. Had to have a bunch of my teeth pulled, like 22 or whatever it is were pulled. Hey, pal. My first time ever skiing, I was five at the time. It did help a lot with low bone density just the g-forces from both turns. It got me back in really good shape, so that helps with chronic fatigue and stuff, but I'm still a pretty heavy sleeper. <laughs> We've noticed that it's about every two years, something pops up. Last summer I had a benign tumor. They went in right here and uh, removed it. He has to have another problem fixed. He's got a tumor on the left side also. Skiing now, it's a, almost a stress relief. My decision to keep pushing through all the medical side effects. I mean, how many other people can say that they've had the opportunity to go to the Olympics? I too shall disdain to use any. Oh, like he's like, I'm not gonna use. So yeah, he's weapons. describing yeah. what in that passage? It's his resume. <laughs> <laughs> Especially during ski season, it gets really hard to balance everything. So I do a school program. It's a total 100% online platform. I'll take a January, February, and maybe even part of March off. Then I'll start back up. I've maintained straight A's since halfway through third grade. And then I'm gonna go to college and hopefully study aerospace engineering. I mean, sure, I have all my friends I've been skiing with for, what, six years? So sure, I'm close with all of them, but uh, in reality, like, I mean, I've sacrificed time with friends, just, what well, haven't I sacrificed? <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Okay, school done. Finding a balance is tricky. It's a lot of back and forth travel. There's a lot of early mornings, like 4 a.m. alarm clocks. Going left here, right? At the next one. I mean, there's a lot of pressure, and I think it's it's a healthy thing for him to do, physically and emotionally. Their father passed away unexpectedly and very um, abruptly in 2018. Hi, Daddy. Hi, William. How's it going? Good. I got some really good advice right away from a psychologist, and she said, keep your kids skiing. Kids with a long-term goal and with focus will recover much better than kids who are drifting. And she was right.
I was five first on my ski, so it'd be four that first time that you went. Without you. Without me, yes. Will neglected to join us on my dad and I on that trip. I was in the hospital. Okay, cut me some uh, slack. Sounds here. like a personal decision. <laughs> um, Would you like to test how sharp your ski is? And not even you can say that's bad. <laughs> he wasn't the sole reason for my desire to ski. Put it that way. It's like but, 80%. 90%. No. Opposite direction, buddy. <laughs> it, it's an incredibly arduous, long, twisty, turny journey. I know I'm not going to get any medals at the least, but um, I mean, I've been training my butt off for seven years now, so if that doesn't leave me prepared, what will? <laughs> but, Eight um, years. <laughs> Nine years. <laughs> There's older brother for you. Hey. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> oh my god. I'm a personal ski coach. I worked with Charles first, but I was around William a lot. He came to a lot of the camps. He has skied more, he's raced more, and he's had Charles to, to follow. So we're trying to bring the, the world of ski racing to Puerto Rico, and William and Charles have really helped that. Hey, ski really fast and look good while you're doing it. <laughs> I will. <laughs> See ya. I promised myself when I was little that I would do it. I had a bunch of just minor inconveniences. Common reaction I get is, uh, you're crazy. And I was like, okay, we're a crazy family, so it makes sense. <laughs> we're so excited. Of course, it's the world stage. We'll be nervous for sure, but we all as people love doing what we are good at, and he's become really good. It's seven meters, which is a little too tight, okay? But you've been running it, so I feel really good about that. I think Puerto Rico's population is four million people now. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure. Um, you better do it perfectly, okay. No! I don't want to embarrass myself. One more time. He has an incredible capacity to work hard. And I went, oh, I'm capitalizing on that. So good? Does it look good? Yeah, it looks good. I think he's excited to ski for the island. I think he's excited to ski for himself. Uh, a lot of work went into it. Um, that means a lot to me. And a lot of Puerto Ricans, too. I mean, the island has already been through so much, it has an overall tough history. I think the people down here, we take pride in knowing that we've gotten through those hard times and we won't quit. That sense of resiliency has directly transferred to being an Olympian. I mean, I'm not giving up.